we're downstairs here, uh, practically at street level, but uh, the body politic office was up there on the fifth floor. A number of the people who were first involved in the first issue of the paper also worked at Guerrilla. It was the lefty, countercultural, hippie publication of the day. Stories would get printed about gay events and so on, but they'd get severely edited and summoned Gerald, I think, and a few others decided it was time to pull together something completely gay, and so we did. It was more than a magazine, for sure. A magazine was the form that we chose for social intervention, for community building. It seemed to be, it was the easiest thing to do at the time. There was no internet, of course. We couldn't afford radio or television. No one would want us on anyway. Well, it was more a community building experiment, a way to try and reach gay people not just in downtown Toronto or not just on your block or not just at the clubs, but across Canada, if we could. In December 1977, the Body Politic published its 39th issue, which included an article called Men Loving Boys Loving Men, which was uh, an analysis of pedophilic relationships. It was a serious article. It was dealing with transgenerational relationships seriously. It was not a pornographic essay. An article called Men Loving Boys Loving Men that I wrote caused some consternation in the city and there were threats in the paper that maybe the police would get involved. I got a phone call that evening from Ed. He knew where I was dining and told me the police are here. They have a search warrant. They're going through our files and they're taking everything. It was a really devastating blow. He still remembers watching as they left, the elevator going down, the door open so you could see through it, and the boxes they all piled up, slowly lowering down as they headed towards the ground. And a few days later, Ed and Ken and I in the press, Ken Popert, who was also involved at the time, were charged with the use of the mails to transmit immoral, indecent, or scurrilous material. And so we had to go to trial a year later.